Good morning and welcome to Williams Dog Training Company. We're here this morning with Fred and Tucker and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today is Tucker's ability to understand and respond to his obedience commands, the corrections and motivations that we give him while we're working with him, and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot web training leash and he's going to keep the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand, leaving his left hand free to give the correction. The correction that we give is a tug and let go on the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Tucker's been fitted with his own personal training collar and we'll show you how to properly use this during your one-on-one -on -one lesson. As you can see, Tucker is seated very nicely on Fred's left, which is where all our obedience training is done. The first exercise they're going to demonstrate is healing. Healing is proper walking on a leash. And the command you want to use for this is Tucker Heal. And as you see right there, we've incorporated an automatic sit into this as well. So anytime Fred stops his feet, Tucker will sit. There's another automatic sit. It's important during the healing exercise that Tucker walks nicely on your left and doesn't try to pull ahead or lag behind. He's been trained to walk nicely at your pace. Now we're going to demonstrate a stay command. Stay is a hand and voice command. Fred's going to use the open flat of his left palm about an inch or so from Tucker's muzzle and the one word command to stay. He walks out to the end of the training leash. It's a great exercise to help build self-control in Tucker. You want to start at about a minute and work your way up to about three minutes. When Fred returns back to Tucker, he's going to walk all the way around him, providing an added distraction as he goes behind him, and right back to that left-hand side heel position. And Tucker remains seated throughout, and he gets a little praise, and they take off healing. We'll demonstrate some more of the heel, the automatic sit, and the stay for you. And there's an automatic sit there. And another sit. Stay. Gives him the stay again, and out to the end of the training leash. And this time, instead of returning back to Tucker, he'll demonstrate the recall or the come command. He call Tucker in using his name and a nice voice. <clears throat> he comes in, sits nicely right in front. And now we have an exercise called the finish. Tucker will heel around the back of Fred and right back to that left-hand side heel position. Demonstrate it one more time. Leave him in a sit and a stay and out to the end of the training leash. And call him into you using his name. He comes in, sits in front, and now he'll perform the finish by healing around the back of Fred and right back to that left-hand side heel position. Nicely done. Gets a little ear scratch and they're off healing again. It's a great time to remind you you want to practice all of your commands about 15 to 20 minutes a day to keep them fresh in Tucker's mind. You can practice inside and outside your home and just incorporate the commands into your daily routine. And we're going to demonstrate our down commands for you. The first one is down from a heel position. Fred's going to use the open flat of his left palm straight down towards the ground and the one word firm command to down. And then gives him a stay and out to the end of the training leash. It's another great exercise to build some self-control in Tucker. You want to start at about three minutes on this one and work your way up to about five. And when Fred returns back to Tucker, he's going to walk all the way around him as he did on the sit stay. And right back into that left-hand side heel position. And Tucker remains in the down throughout and they take off healing again. We're going to demonstrate that down for you one more time. And gives him the down and the stay and out to the end of the training leash and this time he's going to show you that recall command again instead of returning back to him he calls Tucker in and Tucker comes in sits in front and now he'll perform the finish again by healing around the back of Fred and right back to that left hand side heel position very nicely done we'll give them a minute to get lined up for our final command which will be down from a distance it's also a good time to remind you if for any reason Tucker breaks a command, the first word out of your mouth should be no, followed by a tug and let go correction, and then you repeat the command. 
And Tucker's doing excellently, but that would be what you do in case he breaks the command. Okay. This will be down from a distance. You leave him in a sit stay and out to the end of the training leash. It's the only time you're going to use your right hand to give the command. Down. And Fred will drop him into a down from the end of the training leash. He then returns back to him by again walking all the way around Tucker and back into left hand side heel position. Nicely done. Okay, we've shown you the obedience commands that Tucker has learned here at school. It's been a pleasure working with Tucker and thank you again for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer.